Hi, this is Bobby Klein. I'm the translator and the interpreter of the I Ching. This is a new earth I Ching, easy to understand, easy to put to use. It's an oracle, 3,000 years of wisdom wrapped up in this. So sit back, take a breath. If you've got a question in your mind, ask it. If not, just hang in and you'll get some answers. And that's what this is all about. The I Ching, they say, is the book of change, and it is, but it's also the book of answers. All right. Tune in. Drop in. You're home. Yeah. You're home. Reaching out for love. You preen your feathers so bright. Oh, you dazzle me. That is the uh, haiku for today's uh, I Ching here on Spotify, here on Apple, and here coming direct from bobbyklein.com, right? You'll find us lots of places. And look, if you just listen, you don't get the text. You can get the text free. Just go to uh, bobbyklein.com and go to the I Ching and subscribe. And you'll start getting every week. Not only can you get this recording, you'll get the text which is nice to have. And also, you get some more information about just what I'm doing. We call it Soul Space. So a n- number of things coming up. i got a retreat coming up in um, June, June 10th to the 14th. It's going to be spectacular at a hotel called Ical, which is a Mayan sanctuary. It's gorgeous, and that's where we're going to be. We've got great people going to be there, honored, honored by the teachers that have agreed to come. Pretty amazing. Guru Mook, sister, coming. Ellie, coming. Ah, and sisters that are so bright. Kia, the songs of Mexico. It's going to be incredible. So please, take a look. Um, And uh, Ikal is a great place to stay. Here in Tulum. Also, watch Amazon. It looks like we're going to get through all of the very complicated paperwork for Amazon. And uh, the I Ching will be up. The new Earth I Ching is going to be up and rising and up there on Amazon. And uh, there should be a button on the uh, website as well that you can get it. Um, I'm not sure about that, but I think that's going to work. Listen for a minute to this. tell you what got me about Tulum is there is a family here. It's a tribe. It's a community that we come together. You're listening to a member of the tribe. That's Leonardo Prakash. Man, get his stuff off of of, uh, Spotify. He is an amazing sitar player. And plus, as a man, he's the real deal. So listen to that as we do. And um, he's given us... uh, his love and permission to use his music here. I know, you're waiting. You've been waiting. You've been patient. (laughs) And saying, Bobby Klein, just what is the reading for today? listening to your music and your 
pitching all the stuff that you got, but now let's get down to it. Let's get down to the oracle. The I Ching is an oracle. They say 5,000 years ago, printing started 3,000 years ago. And it's the book, longest book in print, longer than the Bible, the Quran, Kama Sutra, uh, all the sutras. It's been in print longer. And you know, the original uh, books were handwritten at the beginning uh, in China on um, staves, slats of bamboo, and then held together with um, uh, string. Uh, beautiful chords. It, it's amazing to see them. <clears throat> amazing to see them and to touch them. That's it. Anyway, we've brought it forth uh, for us here to bring the information forward. Okay. And then the question comes, you know, what are you doing, Klein? Why do you do that? It's because there's ancient wisdom and we need to share it because it's coming from our ancestors. You know, we're all one here, you know. The, uh, Confucius, all those cats, King Wen, they're part of our world. They're they're part. They are our ancestors as well. I mean, you got grandma, and you got grandpa, and you got way back, great, 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 great. But we go back, and we find that we're all touching each other. We're all part of it. So today, I had a real feeling about doing the I Ching. One of our sisters speaking about community is a sweet woman. Her name is Allison. And Allison has uh, been part of my life since almost since I got here in Tulum. We worked together for seven years at uh, Yan Spa, and uh, we're going to continue working together out of Yan Spa. Anyway, um, <laughs> Allison hit a roadblock. <laughs> I mean, not didn't hurt herself, but she hit an obstacle. And the family's working to cure that obstacle and get her riding her bicycle again, going to the beach, having a blast, and helping us all get the word out and to make things work. And uh, come to the retreat. You'll meet her. You'll meet my family. Meet my family of incredible women, incredible men, as we come together as a community here in Tulum. All right. You got sick of my talking yet? Okay. Take a breath. Again, that haiku is reaching out for love. You preen your feathers so bright. Oh, you dazzle me. Hmm. Do you know who you are? <laughs>
it's code, you see. It's code. And it's different for everybody. So as you listen, you listen for yourself. Not for who's sitting next to you, not for anybody else in the world, but this is for you. And this is to answer questions. So if you've got questions, because the I Ching is the book of changes, the I Ching is also the book of answers. And it says, to behold, a stunning moment of time is here. Live to your highest standards. Refine the outer aspects of your life. Think about that. Shine it up. Thus you will be blessed. As we travel this road, this rocky road, as we make our move, you know, as we come together in all of this, we come to moments of true clarity. This vision is only offered. Only offered, okay? Clarity is only offered. It's not commanded, man. You do not have to have clarity. Because sometimes clarity will just scare the poop out of you because <laughs> you see what's really happening, right? So remember that, that now that when the I Ching comes to you and gives you the information for walking ahead, right? Poco a poco, you go and man, it's offering you this vision of clarity, not telling you you gotta, right? Because your choice, see, is to live in a state of grace, which is beautiful, or continue in normality. Okay, what does that mean? Oh, normality, it means nothing's going to change. You know, it's not going to be terrible. You're not going to fall off a cliff, and you're going to be normal. Ouch. Who wants to be normal? Anyway, let's live in a state of grace. So whatever your decision is, no blame. Fear, which should stop you, can be an awesome obstacle when a time like this is coming at you, and you'll make really advancements, advancements, advances. You'll find the truth if you Get rid of your fear, and you deconstruct your doubts. Okay. So they say, how do you get rid of fear? The I Ching says to do it, and here's how you do it. Look at your fear. Deconstruct it. What are you afraid of? What are you? Write it down, right? And then when you see it, you're going to find out it's just covering up some sadness, right? And you deal with the sadness, right? You, and you see where your doubts, you deconstruct them, take them apart. And once you do that, it's not going to be a problem. It's going to be there for you. So do not attempt to press forward now. That's not what this time is about. Not time to press forward in your situation or your, fear, or your affairs. All right, Allison, you hear that? It's, we can't push it right now, but we're going step by step to make it sure it's right. Be sure we got the platform. So when you step out, who's going to be there? Well, it's going to be that tribe you got. That she, 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 and me have been waiting, okay? So, not yet. Here's the place for us all. Find your depth of stillness as you quietly let your influence be felt. Not heard, not seen, but felt. You've not come to this moment of grace to put form on your future, right? Or to enhance the value of your efforts, right? It's not the time to blow your own horn, man. Not that. It's not about, hey, look at me, how good I am. Because you're good. But don't blow the horn, <laughs> really. That's important. Don't blow the horn, man. You know what I mean? I think you do, because we're coming to that place where fear makes you invisible, you see. And you'll remain in the place you have created for yourself right now. The choice now is to choose not to hide. The choice is to be seen, seen as you walk with dignity and grace. These are the components of the fuel that will feed the power to receive change, receive love, and to receive abundance. Okay. All right. Here's an instruction, right? And it's a good one. You're going to be seen, right? So you walk with dignity. Take a breath. See what that looks like. And grace. How could it be? If I just walk with dignity and grace, how's it going to change things? You will see. These are the messages that you're sending. It, yeah, you're sending it to others, to the universe, but you're sending it to your own hormonal system, to your own brain, to your own mind. That once you do that, then the body says, hey, this soul has got it together. This soul is walking with dignity and grace. So what are we going to do? 
we're going to bless them with these components of this fuel that's going to happen. It So by refining and honing your outer form, your social presentation, success and peace of mind will be yours. Uh-huh. All right. Now you say, what's the big deal if I go out there in the world and I don't, don't walk with grace and do all that? Hey, that's your choice. You want to be normal? Go for it. But that's not what this time is about. This time is not about being normal. <laughs> you see, that's not normal. A state of grace is the appropriate time, the time of seeing, the time of knowing, the time of coming to know yourself as you embrace the highest good, the best you can do, the best you can be for yourself, the best you can be for your community, the best that you can be for your tribe of friends, right? That's what we call a state of grace, right? And that's where you activate this, right? Because you're saying, okay, it's about magic, blah, 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 Bobby, you know? How do I do it? Well, this is it, you see. That's it. You're in activation. That's why the I Ching is so hip. It's activation as you embrace the highest good. And when you do that again, the message to the universe, the message to this etheric body that we have this body embracing the kundalini of life, man, that we're being good to it. We're putting it together. We're putting it to the highest good, right? And this is a high mark. It is. Uh, we're not, you know, the I Ching, this translation, it's, it's not about being normal, right? It's about let's place a high mark, right? Let's place one that's hard to achieve. Let's place one that's hard to maintain, So that's what we're doing. So that means at this time, you're not going to make any big decisions. You're not going to make any commitments from this lofty perspective. Just dig it where you are. Say you're there. But don't say, hey, man, I'm up here, and so I'm going to sign that contract. Right? Or I'm going to go, I'm I'm going to do the new piece, the new art piece. It's not the time. It's time to simplify yourself and to bring all of this to you right here, right now. All you got to do with this momentarily enhanced view, and this is important, you see how the cycles work. Here's what happens. The cycles run, then they stop, and then you get into a new cycle, and that's what's happening now. But it don't last forever. That's why you got to take make, make these interior moves that we're hearing about. We're going to let things take their own form, we're going to let things fall where they may, all right? Not going to try to change it. So what do we do? Well, it says don't make any big decisions. That's true. But set some small goals as you look to the details of your place on earth. Uh-huh. Close your eyes. See where you're sitting. See where you're feeling. That's where you are on earth. Now let's go out. Let's go up higher. You know, my... My beautiful teachers, Native American teachers say, you want to see where you are, take the eagle's eye view. Let's do that. Let's go higher and higher and look at our path. Go. Let's go higher and higher and see what it all means as far as our being in motion, right? Let's go higher. Let's travel. Now let's go up to where the satellites are and look down. And now let's go higher and higher. And look, the earth might be starting to look like a little ball of blue. But look hard. And you know what you're going to see? You're going to see you. You're going to see you and you're going to see your place, right? That is the details of your place on earth. See, because you got nothing, don't have to do anything right now other than refine your original beauty, what you came in with, right? What is enlightenment? Okay, enlightenment is remembering who you are. So your original beauty is there. And let that be the quiet witness and compassionate observer. Allow that, right? Time to observe and honor the stillness that you see and imitate. The stillness in nature. See those symbols 
these times of change. See that shouting from the mountain. It doesn't bring change. What brings change is in humility. And when you are in humility, that's when you put on the catcher's mitt. <laughs> you know, that's where you will receive. That's where you're ready. That's where the presents under the Christmas tree, you get to open them, you see, because it's coming to stillness. It's coming to stillness. Stillness can be considered a small thing, yet in its smallness, it is great. As we walk on this road less traveled, the path of the seeker. All right, seekers, raise your hand. Uh -huh. And we consider the importance of proper behavior. All right, so we're talking about how to activate this, how not to blow it, right? We've been getting that. Now it's time to be in a place of correction, right? If you are not using good manners, correct that immediately and have good manners. I mean, the simple stuff, you know? Thank you very much. Please, could I have that? Oh, excuse me, sir. Excuse me, ma'am. <laughs> it's funny. I really had to laugh when the people would start saying, oh, excuse me, sir. Well, I was finding I was getting mature. <laughs> Good manners. Ones that consider your fellows on earth and your earth herself. Be kind to our earth, right? Really have dignity about it. Consider good manners towards the earth. It is not <clears throat> good manners to throw shit out your window, right? Or to, you know, light a fire in the forest or something like that. That is not, that is, that is not good manners. Set the tone. Set the tone about how you would like to have the world be. How would you like it? And then you act that way, right? Then you act that way for the earth herself. That's what it's about, you see. That's what it's about. As we move forward and as we have this all together in this one beautiful place of being cool. Now, okay, what is it? Cool. Cool is different for everybody. But as we go forward, so what do we do? We're going to be in humility. We're going to have good manners. We're going to be in stillness. Oh, sounds pretty good to me. And then we have this, then we are in the state of grace, right? And that, in that state of grace, that comes to you. Then there will be peace and harmony on earth. Got it? <laughs> By having peace and harmony in our life, it broadcasts to the earth herself. Oh, we don't have to tell you that we are in an era of great change right now, right? Should I wear that mask or not? I don't know. You know, we're in a, things are changing. Our survival, literal survival, is dependent on changing the way of thinking and the way of seeing from the negative to the positive and change it, right? These are the corrections. Come into the corrections. Change negative to positive as you move forward, right? Because we're talking about our survival, and, and it's literal, right? Now, you can be the a antidote to greed and violence by acting in your life with impeccable manners of compassion, of love, in the way that you treat others, right? If you love someone, be good at it, <clears throat> right? Take the time to ask what they want. Uh-huh, you know what I'm talking about. You can be the antidote to greed by just getting yourself together, bringing it there, compassion, good manners, right? And, and all of that, you'll be seen to be in proper relation to your brothers and your sisters of earth people. Dig it? You're an earth people. <laughs> and we are all earth peoples. It doesn't matter what color we are, how tall we are, what we follow, what religion we follow. Man, we're all earth people. And we honor Gaia, our mother. Up our earth, we garner that. You know, I was just talking about these masks that we wear. You know what religion means? You take religion apart. You take the word apart, back to its origins. And what it means is what happens behind the mask. Take that. That's religion. You know, it's what happens behind the mask. You know, it's talking about good behavior and being love and being that. You see, it's correct behavior now that will create harmony in your world. 
And you'll find that. You say, oh, my words, oh, my words, oh, my world's out of balance. Everything is not going right. I just don't know. Everything seems off. Well, then come to the instructions in today's I Ching. Correct behavior is one of them. Good manners is another. It is in this harmony that in these coming days, all can live in peace. All can live with the truth of love, in the truth of abundance, and it will be yours. It really is that simple. The greatest advancement comes from most elementary and simple changes that are always available for you to hone to the fineness that is in your outer life, right? Look, to, to have satisfaction, to relax, to be in that place to hone our fineness, we don't have to wait for the delivery from Amazon to keep it together, right? That's a whole other story. Dig it. The benefit now will come by using these moments of clarity that are being offered for you now to adjust your attitude, to adjust your behavior, and to correct your thinking. Look, the words that we think are so much more powerful than the words we say. So come into corrections. Thinking negatively, correct it, right? And sometimes you say, I can't believe it. I can't believe that correction. Do it anyway. Things will change. You'll change that running digital tape sex somewhere in your brain. And look, don't take this momentary time of grace lightly. You see, because change is in the wind, and change is required right now, here and there. You know what your truth is, don't you? You know what your truth is. Embrace the truth. Embrace your truth as never before, right? Look at what your truth is. And if it's coming into the if your truth right now is with integrity, with compassion, with love, with dignity, with integrity, embrace your truth like you've never done before. And embrace everything else here. That sets us up with no boundaries. You see, there's no boundaries of states or countries. That's made up. No boundaries be between species or gender. That's made up. We are at a very delicate point. I don't have to tell you that. You know it's happening. You see, but if at this delicate point, if we do not accept that we are all indeed in one great tribe the tribe that needs one another and feels one another, we are destined to experience more war, more unemployment, more hunger, one cr more crime, more greed, more poverty, <clears throat> and even the possibility of annihilation. No, it would, can't go there. You know, I'm watching a group of people now acting with love, you know. They got these, these incredible... People have come together to support. I talked about her at the beginning, you know, and I'm watching this tribe. This uh, <laughs> well, there, It's a coven of women <laughs> who are coming together to do something together. And they're doing something for somebody, not for themselves, but for the person, right? And what does that do? That brings healing to the earth, right? Uh-huh. That's you. That's you, Camilla. That's you, Ari. That's you, Venezuela. That's the coming together, just all doing it, right? Just all doing it. You see, we all now have an opportunity to experience the clarity, to see through to the truth that is the unity of all beings. Listen to that. That's with those words. I mean, I did make the translation, but the words still blow my mind. The truth of the unity of all beings, right? Wow. And in doing it, to act with grace, good manners, kindness, and compassion, that's what we reflect. And this gets reflected in our health, our relationships, our family, our business, our art, and our tribe. That's right, because what have we done? We have tuned this beautiful transmitter and receiver. Do you know about your transmitter and receiver? That's you, that's your body. That's you. That's your body, your etheric body, and the place that you love, you see, because that's what you are, 
right? We are. We're, trans, we're, we're transmitters, and we are receivers. You know, I learned about the acupuncture points early, and the acupuncture points are named for the planets and stars. There's a lot of people didn't know that. And that's the place we receive cosmic energy. That's the stuff that keeps us going, you know. Those muscles wouldn't work without electricity, and that's where it comes from. So dig it. In these coming days, take some moments of stillness. Look to simplify what you already have. Polish your ways in the world, right? Okay, I'm going to talk about it. Polish your ways in the world. Look at the way that you are. You know, look at the way you treat the parking attendant. <laughs> look at the way you treat the waiter. Look at the way you see the people on the street. Smile, make the world a better place and, place, and make your uh, uh, adornment simple. Ain't the time for bling, you see. Make these adornments simple. Now, any issues that can come your way can be solved in simplicity. It's just your choice. And now, what's the advice? Choose love. Certainly, I've been talking a lot, talking out there to, you know, when I, listen, when I talk to my community, <laughs> my, what bullshit is that? When I talk to this beautiful community in the world of people who come together out of love, out of dignity, out of, you know, no fear, man, that I'm talking to you because I'm talking to me, right? <laughs> you know, that famous phrase, you talking to me? <laughs> you talking to me? I'm talking to you, and that's the truth, okay? All right, be the love that you desire. You want to be loved? Don't be love, right? You want peace? Teach peace. Teach peace in every step, like the master Thich Nhat Hanh says. Have compassion in your life, like His Holiness the Dalai Lama says. Be love and teach peace. In la kesha la kin, I am the other you. And I like it that way. Yes, I do. Yep. Say it again, that music, Leonardo Prakash. Get down. I send you all the love that I can muster here at the 20th parallel, and that's a lot of love. And I send love out to my friends, out to the people I love in my life. Send it to you as we open our hearts to goodness. We open our hearts to grace. And we say, Namaste, my brothers. Namaste, my sisters. May you be held in the arms of love. Step by step. Heart by heart. Soul by soul. Namaste, y'all. Thanks, Leonardo. Thanks, Allison. You triggered some love.